So today we're gonna be talking about how to make any gun overpowered in Modern Warfare. Like literally, whatever gun you want to use, you can apply these to every single weapon in the game, and it works out great. And this is kind of how I go about making my overpowered classes and stuff. And let's say you want to use the MP7, for example, man, you already in heaven. That gun is so good. If you want to use the Uzi, that gun's gonna be a doozy. If you want to use the Kilo, get ready to call in that Hilo. Now enough with the Dr. Sis friends. Now we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna show you guys all these classes, different attachments, and all that kind of stuff. But first, let's go through this well placed intro. What is up guys, my name is Nick and welcome back to another Modern Warfare video man. Today we're gonna be, like I said, I'm gonna show you guys how to make every single gun the best you could possibly make them and it really has to do with like the attachments you're using. If you're using a gun for example like the AK-47, that has a lot of recoil. So you definitely want to work on a class that works around that. Let's say you want to use the MP7, that gun has pretty much no recoil whatsoever. So you'd be kind of wasting a perk if you threw on an underbarrel to focus more on the recoil. Do you guys get what I mean? So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna take two guns from each category for assault rifles SMGs might help you guys out with snipers as well and I'm gonna show you guys different attachments that work for different weapons and before we do man if you could subscribe to the channel with those notifications turned on that would be amazing guys we're, we're, we're getting a lot of subscribers really fast and if we could go we guys you broke the record yesterday man if we could go for 30 likes on this one I don't know if I don't know if it's possible if we could do it I would actually be happy with that and uh, guys well, let's get into it. This is this is gonna be a good weapon. So first off, we're gonna go into a private match on Shoot House because like, dude, Shoot House is the nicest map. Let's be honest here. And I want to talk about the gun, this gun first. So we got the AK-47 here, and the only perks, or the only perks, the only attachments I'm running on this gun is the GI Mini Reflex and the fully loaded perk. So you, I I don't have to worry about like killing myself for ammo and stuff. So that, and we also got right here the Growl, which has really good recoil control. Again, the same thing. We got the GI Mini Reflex and fully loaded, and that's all. I'm gonna be running and then we're gonna be changing that up so I want you guys to focus first on the recoil control I'm not gonna hold anything I'm just gonna shoot and see what the gun does and as you can see the AK-47 has horrible recoil like look at that right there that is disgusting so that's the base version of the weapon and then we take the growl I just smacked my keyboard and then we take the growl and we do the same thing Again, it's much easier to control the growl, even at the base version. So seeing this right here, we don't have to focus too much on attachments that are actually going to lower our ADS just to give us recoil. When you could go ahead and control it and watch how you control it, it's so much easier because you could just stay within the same area. So you don't have to worry about recoil whatsoever. With the AK-47, even if you control it, you can see already it does it does kick around a lot more so you want to work on that you want to work on that for sure so what we could do for example is we could go into it into it right here and we could edit our classes so the ak-47 we could take off the fully loaded now we don't need it and we want to focus on especially the first thing is going to be the underbarrel now the best underbarrel in the game to actually use for recoil control is going to be the merc foregrip which is right here and this is the best one it gives you hip fire accuracy so when you actually shoot the gun at hip fire it's really nice next one that i think is really important is the rear grip and what you want to use is the rubberized grip tape again this gives you recoil control maybe the next one could be a barrel that gives you recoil control as well which is the 23 inch rpk so all most guns not all guns most guns in this game have a barrel that actually helps you control the recoil as well and it gives you damage range and bullet velocity so that's great but now on this class without counting the gi mini reflex we lost a lot of ADS speed, and if you're playing Warzone, you might want to go ahead and throw on a lightweight suppressor or a monolithic suppressor, whatever you like, but now we want to focus more on ADS speed, so that's where this comes into play. Now, you could use the no-stock. It did get nerfed, so you might not want to use the no-stock, but just look for one that gives you at least only ADS speed so you could get that back, so that's pretty nice right there. And then the last one, the best one in my opinion, is the TAC laser, because you get ADS speed, but you also get aiming stability, so it helps you out controlling this gun as well. So that's our new class for the AK-47. We got three attachments that focus on recoil control, but we also got attachments that give us ADSB. Now, the Kilo 141, for example, right here, we're going to take off the attachments we have. We don't need to worry about recoil control too much because it's a lot easier. So we could focus more on putting more ammo into the weapon. Maybe you want to go onto a rear grip, the, the XRK Void 2, which gives you ADS and sprint to fire speed. Maybe the stock, you could go ahead. See, I don't really like any of the stocks here, so I'm not going to throw one on. The barrel, you could go ahead and throw on the biggest one. It does give you recoil control as well, and it is the nicest one. I mean, when you're aiming 
Arcane on sights, the iron sight on that barrel is beautiful. The underbarrel, you guys could look for something if you really want to, but I'm not going to focus on an underbarrel on this class. It's already very easy to control. It's really good if you're going for like only long range and stuff, but if you're focusing more on mid range and close range, the underbarrel won't be needed whatsoever. Now the laser, again, tack laser for the ADS speed, and maybe we'll throw on the monolithic suppressor so we get that extra damage range, but apparently some people have tested it and the lightweight suppressor is a lot better, and it, even though it takes away damage range, it still gives it, I, I don't get it, but we're just going to throw on the monolithic, monolithic suppressor for a second, and there we go, we got our new classes, so we're going to go and kill ourselves, and I want you guys to notice the difference on these weapons right now, which is going to be pretty nice, hopefully I spawn close, yeah, close enough. So the first one we're going to test is the AK-47. So we're going to go right beside where I shot it before. And as you guys can see, I'm going to try again without actually aiming, without actually touching anything. And we're going to see what it does. Already, already this gun is so much nicer. As you guys can see right there, I didn't even touch anything. And it's it's less than half the recoil I had before. And with the ADS, it's not that bad at aiming down sights. Like I could get into a gunfight easily and just go off on people there so that's really nice to have now let's switch out to the growl and do the exact same thing we didn't focus remember we didn't focus on recoil control but we did put some attachments that give it and we have a nice fast ads we have so many more bullets now so the recoil is going to go all the way up like we if we had the 30 bullets like before it would have stopped probably around right here and as you guys can see it's really really easy to control like it, it's so much better like look at this right here I'm only controlling it very little, barely moving my thumb, everything's on point, the ADS is nice, you could get into gunfights with that, so that's what you want to focus on on a star rifle, so if it has high recoil, put some attachments to give you ADS speed, but definitely go ahead, look at that, that, that's crazy, and then if it has like a lower recoil and stuff like that, focus more on the ADS, focus more on the damage range, focus more on stuff that doesn't have to do with recoil control, a lot of people put on the recoil control attachments, and uh, their gun doesn't need it whatsoever, now let's switch over to the SMG, so we got the Uzi and we got the MP seven as you guys can see there i'm gonna have to kill myself once again here and uh this one is pretty important as well like the uzi doesn't have that much kick the fennec has way more kick but how is there a chopper here i'm the only one in the game <laughs> i guess someone's using the kilo and they called in their helo <laughs> <laughs> I better get a like for that one. Come on, guys. So right here, we got the, the Uzi, right? And I mean, I kind of really shot up this place. We got to look for somewhere new. I want to go somewhere that's kind of sunny so you guys can see it. Does this show bullets? It does. Okay. So the Uzi, again, I'm going to just shoot it. And it's it's not that bad. Honestly, like, that that's not that bad at all. I could work with that. Like, I don't even need to put too many recoil attachments. And then we got the MP7, which might actually be a little worse than the Uzi. And it is. It is a little worse than the Uzi. You guys can see that right there. So the MP7, again, when you control it, look at this. I'm going to control it very, very lightly. You do not need to focus on attachments to give you recoil control. And the Uzi, too, it does have a little more kick. But look out. That's even easier to control than the MP7. So these two guns right here, I took a bad example with the Uzi, but we're still going to work with it. So definitely go ahead. And what I like to do on SMGs is I like to give them damage range so you can get more damage range. But I also like to give them as much ADS speed as possible. So what I like to do when I start out these classes is start with the laser, tack laser. Definitely needed the barrel. Probably the biggest one, which on the Uzi is the 16.5 inch. The muzzle, you could definitely go with the lightweight suppressor, the monolithic suppressor, anything you really want for this gun. I'm going to go Go with the monolithic suppressor which is really nice so this one gives you that recoil control like i said the barrel does and now we can focus on maybe one more that gives you the recoil control which is the, the merc foregrip it's the best one for that in the game and then you can work on maybe a stock maybe a rear grip like stippled grip tape so you can get some sprint to fire speed and this all already here looks like a great uzi class now let's work on the mp7 really quickly here we don't need these and the mp7 you really want to work on some range on that so the fss recon the muzzle monolithic suppressor maybe an underbarrel which in all honesty you don't really need on the mp7 so i'm gonna kind of ignore that for the moment maybe attack laser some extra ammunition and the stippled grip tape as well so this right here we're focusing a lot on range but we're also focusing on ads speed so we don't have to worry about anything like that when we get into the game so let's go and smack ourselves here i hate doing it that's a walkie talkie goodbye <laughs> it ain't there anymore so now we got the uzi back and we're gonna test it like, look at that EDSP. That's already that's already pretty nice. But I'm sure the MP7. Oh yeah, that that's so much better. That that's crazy. Like you can just hop around the corner and smack someone easily. Switch to your Uzi and smack them again. So let's test the Uzi right beside where we tested it before, and it should should be a little better. 
which you guys could already see it is. It stops right there, the recoil. It stops right in the middle. So there you go. You don't have to worry on the recoil anymore. The ADS is nice and fast, and you should have extra damage range to shoot people at like around 28 meters, the same damage you would if they were at like 15 meters. So that's really nice. Now the MP7 right here, we're going to go again right beside it, and it should be a little better. Unfortunately, it's not. It's the MP7. But uh, yeah, we do have more bullets on it as well, so it probably would have stopped around here. It's not that great, but it's still super easy. Actually, look how much easier it is to control now with the Merc 4 grip. Look at it compared to before, and now that's a lot better. So definitely focus on that stuff. So like I said, man, if you have a gun that's really bad at ADSing, focus on ADS. But if it's like the AK-47 and it's not that great at ADS, but it's not that good at recoil, you want to work on controlling that recoil while still giving the gun some ADS speed. And if it's like the Growl, you don't have to worry about the recoil too much because it's a very very easy to control gun. Work on, on attachments that give you more damage range, better ADS speed, better movement speed, and stuff like that. So I hope this video helps you guys. This is kind of what I go through when I make my classes. Uh, this is kind of the testing I do, but I also do in-game testing as well, where I go against people and whatnot. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, like I said, man, 30, that, that's, I don't know why I'm holding up six, 30 likes is going to be super appreciated, man. I know you guys can do it. You guys are crazy, man. You guys smack it. We, we beat it in like 20 seconds yesterday, the like goal. So if we could do that again, that would be amazing. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here with those notifications turned on. Man, the next goal is 700k, and once we get there, we're, 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 we're gliding, man. We're gliding to a million. We're going to do it, guys. Don't even worry about it. And let me know down in the comments below what your favorite gun is in the entire game. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Nick, and I'll catch you in the next one. Let me know if you guys like videos like this. Peace.